Hello guys, today we are going to see how to implement DZUI's theme switcher just like this. So firstly what we need to do is we will create an empty Next.js project using this command. I will just copy this and into my terminal. We are not going to use SRC. We are going to use app router. No. Navigate to our project. So this is our empty project, which does not have anything as of now. We will go to Daisy UI. We will go to install. And we will use this command to install Daisy UI. Just copy this, paste this into terminal and run this. Now, just copy this plugins and go to tailwind.config file. Replace this. Now, let's add some buttons. So we will just go here, copy all those buttons and I will go to my page.tsx file, remove everything. Remove this, yeah. I will remove them all, create empty div, paste all those buttons here. I give them cap of two. Let's run our project and see. So we have a default theme. Now we have to add multiple themes. To add multiple themes, you have to go here. You can copy this from here, but I'm going to use all of the themes. So I will just copy this. I'll just, if I can copy this. I tend to copy this. Go to my tailwind config file. Replace this with this. this. Should add all the themes inside our project. But to switch between them, we can use theme change. Just go here. Find npm. We can install this by using this. Just copy this, open another terminal, run this here. Now since we are using react, we have to use this also. So what I will do is I will create another file and provide us. I will create a file called theme provider. And I will just export function from here. Which will return children. We have to take children from here. Since I'm using TypeScript, I have to give types also. So it's completely optional for JavaScript users. Children react dot 
Now we have to use this now layout file. Just wrap all the children's here. Don't forget to import it. Now go back to theme provider. Copy this use effect. Paste it here. Now since we are using use effect in our server component, we have to make this client component to be able to use use effect. So to create it to a client component, just use use client. Now we will be able to use theme provider. Let's see. Which does nothing. Now we have to create a switch switch between themes so what we can do is we can go to theme controller we are going to use yeah this looks fine just go here copy all the code and i will go to here not here here yeah i'll create the folder called components i'll create a file all thing switch dot tsx default export and I will return the whole code and paste it here. Now let's see. Okay, we haven't used it. We have to use it in our page, which is here. Let me close all this. Right, which is here. I will just paste it above it. Import it. Close it. Let's see. We should be able to switch. Yes. We can switch the themes. But let's try to switch to Cyberpunk and let's refresh. After refreshing, the theme is getting reset. So to process this, we have to store it into a local storage. So to do that, we have to go to theme switch and inside the input. So here are multiple inputs. So what we can do is we can write something called data set dash theme and pass the name of the theme so i will for this case i will write retro here paste it i will just copy this into everything i will just copy this to all of the inputs paste it uh, make sure to replace this with this value Now let's try to do this again. Let's try to switch to Aqua. Let's try to refresh it. Now it persist. So you can check your local stories also. Go to application. See, it has Aqua here. Let's try to switch to Cyberpunk. It has Cyberpunk here. Retro. Default, we yeah, didn't put default there. Yeah. yeah. And you can use all of the themes written here and create an input for it, and you will be able to use it. I'll just show you one. Let's go with forest. Right, I will just copy the value first and I will just duplicate this line right forest forest and forest let's try to do it let's refresh it go to forest 
Let's refresh it. We have forest. Thanks guys for watching.